Yo, what is going on guys? Previce here. Welcome to another tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Also, I really appreciate that. Now, I did come uh, kind of on a ball with creating some VBS scripts for you guys. Uh, I did get a request from someone. And yeah, so this is what I want you guys to do. First of all, now just make a new folder, which new folder, or you could just go into one of your other folders. Uh, just it could be any folder. It could be a folder with something in it. It doesn't matter. Just open up a folder, press the View tab, find Options, and change folder and search options. Now I th I believe this is the same on Windows 10 and Windows 8. Now if you have a Mac or if you have Windows 7 or below, you guys might want to. This is what you guys should look up: how to change folder and search options on Windows 7 or whatever you're on. And don't worry guys they're gonna have a lot of videos on that so yeah and then you should see a view tab and then this may be checked off just uncheck that and then hit apply and okay that's for so you can see like the I extension names like dot txt or dot png whatever it is uh, alright so now what you guys want to do is just make a name Actually, let's just keep it as a text document. I'll just type in whatever dot txt. All right, now we're gonna make a for loop. So, yeah, uh, I I understand for loops. You guys might not understand because I do Roblox scripting, but it's kind of different. So we're gonna make a program or this this code. So whenever we click on this this thing. It won't be opening up as a text document, but whenever we click on it, it's gonna pop up. Like every time you press OK, it's gonna show like one, two, three, like how many times you click on it. And once it gets to a certain amount of clicks, which we're gonna set that to, then it just closes. So let's do for, and we're gonna make like a variable for i. You guys can make it whatever. We could do like for clicks equals let's do like one two guys it's case sensitive remember that excuse me and then we're gonna have ten clicks so in the su the second place of the number uh, value we're gonna put the amount of clicks you wanna be able to do until it goes away so and I think that's it for clicks ten and then let's just add a next right here All right, and then inside of here, we want to write w script uh, w script dot echo, and then put a space, and then put quotes. And you guys could do this. I'm gonna teach you two things. Y'all could do like, of course, I'm gonna do thanks for watching because I really appreciate I really appreciate you guys watching. So we could do like a string. So let's save this. And let's change this to instead of dot txt, we do dot vbs. Change it. Double click on it. Thanks for watching. Now watch, it's gonna pop up ten times. Or we're gonna have ten clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So you guys could set this, like I said. Or you guys could do this. Dot echo i. Well, actually it would not be i. Okay, whatever you have right here for clicks which is like a variable it's gonna th this is what we have to put here so clicks so if you have like I right here for example then you change this to I because it's the variable so I'll just keep it as I just since I changed it so what it's doing is for I equals so every time you click it it's gonna it's gonna start off at 1 it's gonna go to 10 so it's gonna go up 1 every time so this is pretty much gonna print I every time if you guys understand all right now let's save this open it up thanks for watching so you guys may know how to change the the name and all kind of stuff I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure you guys would know how to do that it's pretty easy I have that uh, in my other tutorial I believe so yeah well let's see yeah, well, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.